last time on Island Camp. The teams face to run away from my interns to not get caught. However, Tyler is the first one got captured by them, as well as Trayvon and Destiny. The rest of the Crystal Swords have the advantage to hide inside of their cabin. However, one of the gaming hardcore's teammates gave up their hiding spot and lost the challenge. In the end, Trayvon and Kathy were tied for three votes, then Tracy chose Kathy to stay, making Trayvon leave the island. Damn, really? That was harsh. Anyways, what will the gaming hardcores do in this challenge today? How will Destiny get revenge on her teammates? How will the Crystal Swords keep an eye out for Diana? It starts right here, right now on Island Camp. I can't believe that we won yesterday. The gaming hardcores were tryharding. I know right. They screw themselves over. I mean, they did. But now we know that Diana is the one who is trying to make us lose. By the next upcoming challenge. We cannot let her screw us over again. I'll keep an eye on her if she tries to do that. You know, I like you guys for a reason. You guys are pretty understandable to me and smart. Yeah, thanks for letting us know beforehand. Well, well. Well, looks like Jose has friends over here. Oh, not you again. Why do you want to pick on Jose? Well, since you guys are freaking annoying from the first day, it's time to show you guys how strong I can be. Dude, you're literally skinny, my guy. How about you leave us alone before we start attacking, you dickhead? Screw you guys. Um, what's his problem? He was being a dick back when I can't get closer to the cabins. Was that in the first challenge? That's right, because me and Reggie helped him out against him and he gave up. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Tracy, why did you choose me and let Trayvon leaving the game yesterday? I thought that you agreed with Trayvon joining our alliance and yet, you voted for him. Why? Well that's because Destiny joined his new alliance out of nowhere. So that's why I don't want Trayvon to stay. Oh, that's why. Anyways, the only things we have to worry about is Diana and the Crystal Swords beating us again. We can't lose like this. I think Kathy is starting to get annoying a little bit. She needs to know that she is bossing around us for the last two days. I can't believe that we lost yesterday because of Diana and James. Yeah, I don't know why, but I think she should be out next. Let's hope that we don't lose again. I will get my revenge on my teammates for voting off Trayvon. So I will have my teammates hear my voice. I hope that this challenge is a lot more difficult, so that the Crystal Swords have a hard time. Then, I will show my teammates who is the boss. So Sadie, why did you and the other teammates went inside of our cabin yesterday? Well as we went in there, Tom knows who sabotaged Joe, and it was Dana. Wait, Joe didn't cause our team to lose on the second challenge. Yes. What the actual bullshit. She's the one with the black tie. Exactly. Tom told everyone that she wears it from the night talk while you were sleeping. I can't believe that she is the one who caused Joe to lose track of our zone, making us lose. Then vote him out for nothing. That is some bullshit right there. Let's hope Diana won't cause our team to lose again. Let's try to meet up with the others for the next challenge. Yeah, and let's win again for this challenge. Hello everyone. We got confirmation that Molly Betty made a good challenge for this episode, and she's going to be arriving after I tell the campers to meet me at the top of the mountain of the island, so this challenge will be fun. Attention campers. Meet me at the top of the mountain for this challenge. Well, that is our cue to go.
All right, campers. Before I explain of what the challenge will be, I'd like you all to meet Molly Betty. Hello, everyone. In this challenge, all of you will be writing on your team's logs all the way down to the ceremony. Whoever of what team makes it there will win the challenge. Not only that, there's a statue of me somewhere around the island that you have to find after this challenge. It looks something like this. Huh? What the actual hell? However, this is the only statue that you need to find. This gives you the advantage to not get eliminated off the island. Now with that being said, let's get this challenge started. Okay, this challenge might be the scariest challenge yet, but we have to ride the freaking logs with your teammates on it to the finish line. Wait, why the hell am I in the front? Shut, Shut up, up, James. Never mind. Is everyone ready to race? Yes. Yes. On your marks. Get set. Go. Ah! What ah, 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 the hell? Um, why the hell are they flying down? Holy fucking god. Why is this scary? As far as I can see. The gaming hardcores are in the lead. Come on guys, lean forward. Guys, we're almost there. Wait, what the hell? Oh no you don't. Crystal swords. Why I I I? What the actual fuck Diana? You literally threw in Zoe off our log. It's the only way to go faster and pass the crystals swords to win. This is to be the dumbest eight thing I saw through my eyes ever. Ha 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 ha. Hang on a minute. Where's their teammate? God damn it. She threw her one of her teammates off of their log. Yes, we made it. And the gaming hardcores won the challenge. Hold the victory. John, somebody is missing. What happened to Zoe? She, she did, did it. it. She is the one who threw Zoe off our log. Are you serious, Diana? You can't do that in the game at all. Zoe could end up in pain because of this. You are now disqualified. That means you can't go any further. Well, my reign of terror has come to an end. Come with me, Diana. As far as we know, the Crystal Swords won again. However, due of Diana's chaos, she's no longer in the game. Making the gaming hardcores lose once again. So congrats for you guys to win again twice for the comeback. As for you the gaming hardcores, I don't know if Zoe will be okay or not, but you guys still have an elimination coming up, due of Diana throwing Zoe under the wagon. Well, this day got turned for the worst outcomes I've ever seen, but with Diana, out of the way, now it's time for me to rise. I can't believe we won again and Diana is out of here. I know right? I've never been this happy to see someone get exposed. As long as we are happy, we still need to keep our crown. The gaming hardcores. I got good news. Zoe didn't get hurt as badly as I thought. And here she is. Zoe, are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. But screw Diana throwing me off the log for the challenge. Well, we're glad that you're okay. Anyways, let's get to the voting ceremony. I'm voting off Kathy because she won't see the light of day. I'm voting off Kathy again. I'm thinking of voting off James because he was with Diana in their alliance, so he's out of here. I'm voting off James because he didn't do shit. I'm voting off Destiny because she was in Dreyvon's alliance last time, so she's out of here. I'm voting off Destiny because she was in Trayvon's alliance. Alright, the votes are in. There are five cards to hand out. If I call your name, you are safe. If you don't, you are out of the game with Diana, Zoe, Tracy, and Monica. You guys are safe, James. You on the chopping block for not helping the rest of your teammates. What the hell, man? Kathy. You are on the chopping block for bossing around your teammates. How the hell I was bossy. And Destiny. You are also on the chopping block for making an alliance with Trayvon, that the other alliance got jealous. That means, 
I will have Molly to decide on who will be the second last person to stay. Well, since two boys got eliminated and one girl got disqualified, so... James, you are safe. Let's freaking go. However, I don't think that Kathy wasn't bossy that much. So, Destiny, you are eliminated. Well, shit. Then, it's settled. Well, Destiny, it is time to go to the boat. Destiny, thanks for playing. I will see you next time. Bye. Also, Diana, you aren't getting a bye from me. So long, cheater. Oh, I will get my revenge after this. Just you wait and see. I will see about that. Anyways, four campers down. Twelve more to go. What will the gaming hardcores do with James? Will the Crystal Swords keep their crown? Stay tuned after the aftermath one of Island Camp.